The daily wages of plantation workers have become a major topic of discussion on presidential election stages. A discussion on the matter was held at the Ministry of Labour today with the participation of parties including the Wages Control Board, Plantation Workers Union and Estate Owners Association. What happened to the proposal for a daily wage of 1,700 rupees? This is what the plantation trade unions had to say regarding today's discussion. The decision was reached to give 1,350 rupees as basic salary and 350 rupees based on production efficiency. According to a plantation worker, it's 1,750 rupees per day. The Ministry of Labour will issue a gazette notification in future. Uh, a poll was held today based on a conflict of opinion. We won this wage with 11 votes. However, the All Ceylon Estate Workers Union, which joined today's discussion, rejected the relevant proposal. This is a betrayal. Estate companies, government officials and estate unions have conspired to deceive the people. It is not possible to talk about raising wages for three years. It was accepted by the Ceylon Workers' Congress. Proposals were also presented to prevent plantation workers from taking trade union action. They supported those proposals as well. This is not a proposal to increase wages, but to reduce wages. General Secretary of the Ceylon Workers Congress, Minister Jeevan Thondaman, also provided an explanation regarding today's discussion. All the participants who came on behalf of estate companies agreed to give a salary of 1,700 rupees. Three out of 14 voted against. That means they have voted in favor of estate companies. Anura Kumar Adisanayaka's trade union, which claims to speak for the workers, has also voted against. The people should also be aware of who is working hard for the people. I also informed the president about this today and thank him for the estate workers because this is a hard earned salary. What do plantation companies say? The Estate Owners Association said they agreed to pay the basic salary of 1,350 rupees during today's discussion and that it is the same stance they have been taking continuously. A spokesperson of the association said payments can be made in such a way that will reward people based on how they work. The Estate Owners Association said as they agreed to pay 50 rupees per kilogram of tea picked in excess, Plantation workers will be able to earn a salary of over 1,700 rupees. What is the Labour Commissioner's stance on the matter? Labour Commissioner General HKKA Jaisundara has reached a decision to call on objections in this regard. He said objections can be raised within a period of 14 days.